Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the first episode of a new series, and I'm going to start on a game called Cry of Fear. I've heard a lot about this game, I mean it's like 11 years old, so it's been out for a long time, but I've heard it's really good. I've watched like the first few minutes of Markiplier's gameplay on YouTube, and I didn't see much, but honestly for a Half-Life 1 mod, it looks really good. So I think we should just get straight into it. Um, I like medium, so I'm just going to go with medium. I don't know. Easy is too easy. Difficult is too difficult. It's a good starting place. Alright, let's just get into it. Yeah, I've, I've uh, played a few Half-Life things before, but I've never actually played Half-Life itself. Like, I've played, uh, I think Stanley Parable was a Half-Life mod, like the original, and Portal. Portal 2. Or Portal 1, I mean. But, uh, I've yeah, they were good. So, actually, I'll just let this go. One second. <laughs> My whole life. For as long as I can remember. I don't know if I like it or, or if I'm just used to it. But I do know this. Being lonely does things to you. And feeling shit and bitter and angry all the time just eats away at you. Uh, yeah, I I actually don't know if Portal was a Half-Life mod, but because it's made by Valve, right? It might just be a standalone thing. But I know Stanley Parable was originally a Half-Life mod, and I love that game. So hopefully this kind of lives up to that. <laughs> I know it's not at all the same thing, but it looks pretty good so far. So, yeah, even look at the cars, the wheels are moving and stuff. It's not something I'd expect from a, a game this old. 2012. Long time ago now. Got some nice music too. It's like so dark out in this game. I'm playing this game in broad daylight, but I've like tried to make my room darker so it's a little bit more into the game. Oh, the train wasn't on the rails first. <laughs> Wait, even look at like the newspaper rusting down there. It's like impressive for a Half-Life 1 mod. It's like a standalone game now. <laughs> so loud. Maybe I should quiet it down a little. Actually, never mind. It's a horror game. It's gotta be loud. Gotta get those jump scares, right? Okay. You get it into it now? Or is this just gonna fade into another cutscene? Let's see. Yeah, another cutscene. <laughs> I think it's good. I mean the, the guy on the ground was in on it. I feel like he kind of got ran over there, no? <laughs> it's a little short end of the stick. Oh, hello. What's up? Looks like we're in like a asylum. Hello again. Is that our, our culprit? Oh, that's not good. Wake up. 
I sleeping? I didn't even see what that was. Too quick. Oh. Looks like we're getting into it. I was gonna say it's on diet there. Where's the opening? Oh, pictures. Right. Oh, yeah, we have control. Okay. It's not a bad. It looks like a little like dorm room, like, uh, the university would call it. Pretty nice. Let's plant it. Gone clock. Half life poster. Okay, nice. You gotta take pictures. Hey! That's not very nice. I found it a scary void. What's happening? Is this real? Hope not, because I just saw a dead body. Keep still like making me afraid. Hey, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like a screamer. <laughs> That's crazy. Give me goosebumps. <laughs> that was good though. Now I'm ready. I'm ready for this. And get into it. So where am I? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? That was a good question. Like, what just happened? How was that, did I get here? Is that like real? Or was that just like part of the dream? It said wake up, right? Maybe that's part of it. No phone credit. It looks like it's gonna jump out from behind me based on this frame. All right. Okay, we're in. Lost in the city. Okay, there is nothing back here. Alright. Get in here. Maybe I came out through there? <laughs> I don't know. Have to access inventory. Rob a clip for combined items. Combine the phone. like this is I feel like based on my knowledge of new games and everything it's going to be hard to tell what doors I can go through because this looks like it would just be like a texture on the wall in a, in a new game but I can actually go through that that's uh good to know yeah it looks like they're actually all interactable Okay, it looks like I can actually interact with, like, everything. Jeez. <laughs> Gotta try and jump up here. No, it doesn't look like I can. But it looks like there's a door up there. I don't have to go through that, right? I don't know. I'll just move on. This looks a little uh, shady. Man. All boarded up. Oh, 
this is not the place I'd want to be. <laughs> the most, like, confining alleyway ever. Is this really how Sweden is? This is not how I picture it. Pulse through your mobile. Can get a light? Ah, I see. Okay. Where are you? Come as home as soon as possible. It's getting darker. Probably should. <laughs> Mom's worried for good reason. Okay, so there's multiple ways. I'm gonna choose this way. Just to make sure I don't get lost. If it's like a maze. Probably not. <laughs> I'm not very good at those. This is a, a weird little divot. Don't need this right now. Alright. It looks like they just met up, right? So it didn't it wasn't a maze. Good thing. Alright, up the stairs I go. I feel like I should be holding my knife right now. Just a little suspicious here. There's another one. Leather Hoff 45. This person really likes the number 45. Is this number two? Okay, good. Alright. That is not high enough resolution. I can't read that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. This, the, the wind is giving it really good ambience. It's like a, a good opportunity for a scare. <laughs> Like the perfect horror setting. I'd say it's Halloween too. Yeah. Hello, hello. Oh, can I break the window? I feel like uh, the owners of this place wouldn't really like. Oh, the door's open. The break and enter. Probably closed right now. I don't know many bars that are open like this, just <laughs> with no one in it. Zero people here. What is that? Okay, let's go into this room with a couch and a rug in the middle of a bar. What is this room? Okay, can I go on the computer? Yeah, let's see. Username and password. Oh, okay. It's probably our, our hidden notes, right? So Apple 45. Leather Hoff 45. I'm gonna assume number one is the username and then Leather Hoff 45. Pretty easy to remember with the same numbers. Huh. Did I mess that up? Or is it just the opposite order? Apple 45. Okay. Leather Hoff 45. I probably just put it in the wrong order. Someone's here. I heard a door open. Oh my god. <laughs> that gave me huge chills. That, that was like just subtle enough that I feel like some people would miss it. But now I have like goosebumps all over my leg. That's crazy. Well, hopefully, no one actually like, barged in here because someone totally opened that door. I should not remember this number. 1157. I think that's a padlock code, right? Stalker, I'd have to keep my neck out. I don't feel safe. <laughs> it's always open. Okay. Someone's like trapped that's in here because all the cars are like boarding up the exits. The the wind is good ambience. I 
feeling something's totally watching me right now. Got that chill going up my spine. I'll go back the other way. That makes it feel like there's something behind me. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, back in the, the confined alley space. I could totally be around this corner. Okay, good. Got it, got it dripping. Awesome. Well, I'm glad it's not overusing the scary factors. I feel like that actually makes it a little bit more scary. Like anticipating something around every corner and then it's not. I think this was the room with the padlock? Yeah, it looks like it. Perfect. Okay, I feel like something's gonna be in the corner. It's gonna jump around me when I'm locked in this padlock. It's 1157. Yeah, okay. 1157. Oh, it's like backwards. Okay, 1157. Alright, I feel like I could have brute forced that. <laughs> Put up to three items in your quick slots. Is that one? Two. Do I equip two? I see. Okay, I get it. This is faster. Yeah, totally. Okay. Well, if I need it, a knife five. I can get it out quick now. Because I feel like I'm going to need it soon. So, door three. Walk back. I see you. <laughs> I see you. Oh, uh, I didn't like that. <laughs> I know I'm saying that about everything, but I really didn't. Really got these stalkers. That wasn't the same guy either, because the other guy was like wearing a mask. Got a team. Got a text from mom? That's not from mom. Never mind. Look to the right. Oh, if that ever happened to me in real life, I freaked out. No, thank you. Oh, this is when I'd, I'd text my mom. And I'd be like, hey, can you just come pick me up instead of waiting for me at home? I don't care if it's 12 o'clock. Okay, do I got an email? Okay, that just means I have a message. Okay, well, i my knife out before I get stabbed. Something's gonna happen soon. Basically. Alright. Well, I think since I can save my game here, I'm going to end this first episode off here. But this is, is this is getting good. I feel like something's about to happen very, very soon. Because this corner looks scary. I don't know. And I, it's making me save. So something's totally gonna happen. I'm gonna have to fight that guy or something. But yeah, thank you so much for watching if you've gotten this far into the episode. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun making this. I mean, it's really scary, but it's also cool. Way better than I expected for a 2012 game as well. So uh, I can't wait to see what comes later. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you stick around for the next episode. Bye-bye.